how difficult is your situation right now? Good afternoon to you and your viewers. We have a very difficult situation uh, with the Botswana government uh, failing to honor its obligations regarding the sale of uh, our business, uh, business interests in Southern Africa to BCL. Uh, we had no sooner concluded the transaction when the Botswana government promptly put the business into, into liquidation. So um, we, we do we, have a problem, and we, we as Neural Star are absolutely adamant that, that we will resolve this issue uh, in, in, in a proper manner. And this is a, a big hole in your, your balance sheet, isn't it? Something like $271 million, and you've been waiting for it for more than five years. Uh, what are you trying to do about it? The answer to that is yes, it, it is a large amount of money. And, uh, you know, we have been seeking legal recourse. Uh, we do, however, find that we are being blocked at every, uh, every, every opportunity. We find that there are incredible delays in the, in the process. And um, just recently, you know, we, we applied, as was agreed in the sale and purchase agreement, uh, we applied to take the matter to the London Court of uh, International Arbitration. And this took over 17 months for the Botswana courts to, uh, to, to opine on. And eventually they, they ruled against this decision. Now, we, we are obviously going to continue uh, our options of pursuing legal recourse against the Botswana government. One thing that surprises me about this whole story is that the Botswana government, and I've had quite a bit of experience with them, they're normally so straight and, and prim and proper when it comes to such things. Why have you been having such difficulties? Well, yes, uh, when we went into this transaction, we believed that the Botswana government were certainly one of the, the better governments to deal with uh, in the business community in, in, in Africa. However, we find that in this transaction, for some bizarre reason, uh, they seem to have thrown uh, their reputation uh, to the wind. And, and we actually that believe is? that this is, Why do you this think is that very was? bad for Botswana. You but know, the... It is very difficult to speculate as to why they have taken these measures. Um, we quite honestly don't understand it. Um, we have a, a perfectly uh, acceptable sale agreement. Uh, we, we met our side of the agreement. However, at the 11th hour, the Botswana government placed the business of BCL into liquidation. And the matter is now ex has become extremely complicated. Uh, we have uh, a liquidator involved in the, in the process. We have the Botswana government and we have the Botswana courts. And uh, we believe that this was simply trying to avoid its, its obligations uh, to Norals uh, as, to why Nor as to why the Botswana government uh, placed BCL into liquidation. And uh, how far are you prepared to go to get your money back? Yeah, we, we're going to go all the way. Um, this is, this is uh, it's, it's very, very obvious that, uh, you know, we have, as far as we're concerned, the legal right to pursue this matter um, at, at all levels. And, you know, we, we believe that uh, having tried repeatedly to reach a settlement with the government of Botswana and the various ministers, and we have moved some way, but uh, we no sooner get to a point where there is a tentative agreement in place when we find that the government, government reneges on that uh, agreement. And one of the latest announcements that was published uh, in the Botswana press by the Botswana government said that the government had paid Norals $45 million in order to reach a settlement. Now, you know, we want to set the record straight that this money has never been received and, in fact, was a, was a, false, uh, a false reporting issue. So uh, we, we have gone as far as uh, laying reckless trading claims against the directors of BCL and the government of Botswana and will again continue to pursue this to a logical conclusion in the courts. And where, where does this end up, a, a case like this? I and mean, is it the International Court of, of Settlements, or where can you take it further once you've exhausted the opportunities here? Well, certainly the uh, London Court of International Arbitration is the dispute resolution mechanism that was agreed prior to the sale being concluded. And we are certainly going to pursue our options in that regard. And thereafter, you know, we will con continue pursuing whatever legal recourse we can. I, I think tragically this is uh, impacting a lot of people in, 
in Botswana and, and the Southern African region. Uh, we talk about the need to beneficiate uh, commodities locally. Uh, this is an ideal opportunity for the Botswana government to beneficiate nickel, platinum and palladium locally. Uh, we are talking about thousands of people, well over three 3,000 people in one town alone who are currently out of work. We're talking about a town such as Francistown that no longer has, uh, has, a, has, a, has a mine, which is tight in nickel, which has been closed down. So, you know, we see this as a very sad situation for both Botswana and, and to a degree, the, the Southern African community as a whole. Thank you very much indeed for your time and insights. That was Michael Marriott, the CEO of Norilsk Nickel uh, Africa.